All right, brothers and sisters, God bless you. Matthew chapter 6, I just want to start at verse 1. He says, Jesus says, Take heed that you do not do your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou does, do thy alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Their reward is the glory of men. Then he goes on and he continues to talk about that. Now, one thing that you rarely hear in the church is one of the things that Christ emphasized here in Matthew chapter 6, the Beatitudes. The three, three main things he talked about, about not being seen before people, is giving, praying, and fasting. Now, that was the giving part I just read. But let me read you the part where he says about praying, okay? And then he says right here in verse 5, he says, When you pray, don't be as the hypocrites. They love to pray standing in the synagogues in the corners that they may be seen of people. Then also he talks about fasting in the same way when you fast. Uh, verse 16, he says, Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites, a sight and countenance, for they love to disfigure their faces, that they may have that may they appear unto men to fast. Really, I say unto you, they have the reward. Jesus emphasized these three things about honor seeking. This is what this is honor seeking, getting honor from people. When you give, don't, brothers and sisters, don't give if in your heart you feel, oh, is this person looking at me? Is this person reckon? Does this person recognize that I did this? Rather, it's giving money. Rather, it's giving your time. Rather, it's giving something that a person didn't even realize you gave to them, as far as helping them out with something, or maybe you helped them out behind their back. Whatever it may be, this is very crucial for us to not seek after honor. It's the honor behind us. Now look at the honor of men. Get recognition. This is what honor seeking is: getting recognition from people in your heart and in your mind. Realize. Oh, did they notice? Then if they did notice, you feel you feel good a little bit. That's honor seeking. The Bible says what I just with the verses I just read. He says, if you get basically, he was saying, if you get recognition from people, you have your reward. You won't get no you won't get no recognition from God. And the second thing also, he talks about praying. Brothers and sisters, when you pray, don't it's so easy. I've been I've been guilty of this, too, when in church to pray next to people. And well, since you're in church, you're praying there and you hear, you see other people around you. It's so easy to be tempted to pray. Oh, I, I know they're listening. So let me try to pray to sound good. Let me pray to sound good. Not praying because I want not praying directly to my father and not caring about what anybody else thinks, but praying. Oh, I got I got to make this sound nice. I got to use certain words and stuff like that because I know they're listening. So I better don't deceive ourselves. Don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. It's so easy to be tempted to seek the honor and recognition from people. So when you pray, pray with a heart of, I don't care what anybody says or block out people in your mind. That's why Christ, that's what Jesus said. He said, when you pray, go into your closet. Your closet could be your mind. You can shut the doors of your mind, shut the doors of your ears, your eyes to the people around you, to what's going on around you. Even if you're in a church with 5,000 people and you're praying on stage in front of 5,000 people, it doesn't make a difference. You can shut the door in your mind. You can say, forget them as if they're not here and pray to the Lord in your heart as you, to your father in secret in your heart. heart from heart to heart from your heart to the father's heart so that way you get so that way it can be meaningful and you get his reward and another thing is is when you um, when you fast also don't fa when you fast don't tell nobody um, when you fast do it because you love Christ do it the Bible says Jesus, he said, and I'll drop the scripture down. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And another way I look at it is what he spoke to me was, I read it like this. He says, if you do something, do it because you love me. So if you love me, keep my commandments. Obey my command because you love me. So if you fast, do it because you love Christ. Do it, do it out of the motive of not because of some kind of law or not because of people getting giving you recognition or trying to look good before people. Nobody should even know. So do it because you love Christ and because you want to grow intimate with him and try your very best for nobody to find out. If someone does find out, OK, um, by accident, some things sometimes that stuff happens, but do it because you love Christ and look for his honor. And that's it. And anything else you do. Also, I want to add singing too, brothers and sisters. Don't sing in church to get 
to, to for people to recognize your beautiful voice if you got a real good voice for if, if you're in church or if you're with your family or around whoever it is if you're singing to the lord and singing praises if you sing for the honor of men that's what you're going to get you're not going to get god's approval so if you sing praises and worship and and you're singing these wonderful songs with wonderful lyrics and in your mind and in your heart, you're thinking, man, I, you know, oh, man, I got to let me let me sing louder. Or let me sing more, more beautiful, because in the back of your mind, you think, oh, I want this per this person. They're standing next to me or this person they're They're near me. So I want them to, you know, you know recognize that, oh, how, how good I sing. Get a clap of hands from people. You want people to clap their hands for you. Get rec give you recognition. A little this, the recognition that you get from people will be only last here in this world. When you go off into eternity, let me tell you something. When we go off into eternity, all the recognition that we've gotten in this world from praying, fasting, seeking the Lord's face, reading the Bible. That's another thing too, reading the Bible. Don't, don't just read the Bible to look good. Oh, let me try to impress people. In the back of your heart, you're thinking, oh, I want this person to see him reading the Bible. Unless it's, you know, you're around unbelievers or something like that. I'm trying to win the heart to Christ, whatever. But when you go off into eternity, everything that's in this world, the honor, the rich, the fame, everything is being left in this world. Everything that you've gained, all the time you spent trying to get the fame in this world, it's all staying in this world. When we go to be with Christ, that's all going to be forgotten. God's going to wipe it all away, destroy it. And whatever is left that you did do for Christ, let's say, for example, right, you did nine out of the, nine. Let's say you did 10 things for Jesus. But nine of those times you did it really in your heart. You was trying to get some recognition from people. You were thinking you were uh, de deceiving yourself or telling yourself, I'm doing this for Jesus. It looked good. Jesus name was written all over it. Rather, you gave, you fasted, you prayed, you did something. But in the back, at, at, in that moment, your heart was, I want this person to see me. I want this person to uh, say, oh, good job. And you act humble on the outside. I've been I've been good to you that. Right. Um, prayed or, or something like that. They say, oh, wow, that was good. That was a good prayer. Or that, or, or you sang good or you uh, gave a good message or whatever it was. And on the outside, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, no, it's, not, it's all to the glory of God. Or to the glory. But in your heart, but in my heart at that time, in our hearts, brothers and sisters, at that, at that moment, it was, oh, you feel good. Oh, you feel, you feel good for what? You feel good because they recognize you feel good because they recognize me so let's say let me go back to what i was saying so say you did 10 things of christ and nine of those times you did it for the recognition of people and you felt good that you got recognition at that time from people you didn't repent of it when you stand before christ and christ in the judgment seat all nine of those times are going to be forgotten it's going to be wiped away that one thing that you did really sincerely out of your heart for the Lord, not getting rid of anybody thought that's going to last for eternity. So don't let what you do for the Lord be wiped away. Don't let what you do for the Lord, what you think you're doing for the Lord, but really it's for the honor of people and for the, um, for the recognition of people, even just a little bit of it. Don't let that wipe away, be, be gone forever. If you do 10 things for the Lord, Whatever it be, pray fast, give, do something. Let it endure forever. Get the recognition of God. Because when you do this and you get the recognition, get the recognition of God, it gives God the glory. And it'll last and endure forever. And it'll be a testimony throughout eternity. And it'll be another story for the glory of God. So brothers and sisters, read Matthew chapter 6 and stay away from the recognition of men. Seek the glory of God. Brothers, sisters, this is it. Very important. Churches, preachers, they don't preach this because they want the money. They want the recognition of people also. They want the fame with Jesus' name tagged on it. It's not right, but it's happening. Don't be deceived. Read Matthew chapter 24. Don't be deceived. Seek Christ's face while we have the time because we don't have much time left. So I love you, brothers and sisters. May the peace and the grace and the love of Christ be with you in Jesus' mighty name. Peace. Bless you.